want to show you how a Frenchman called Fresnel came up with an idea to solve the problem of large lenses being very thick and consequently very heavy. Fresnel realized that if you have a very large thick lens, there is a way to make it thinner and lighter. And it's based on the fact that if a ray of light travels from a more dense medium, say plastic, through a less dense medium and back into the more dense medium, and the boundaries, the interfaces either side are parallel to each other, then what's going to happen to this ray is when it enters, it's going to get bent away from the normal, <clears throat> but then when it leaves this gap here, it's going to get bent toward the normal an equal amount, and hence it's going to come out in exactly the same direction that it goes in. Now, the idea of a lens is to change the direction of rays of light. And apparently, cutting a parallel sided hole in a piece of plastic doesn't change the direction that the light takes either side while in the plastic. So Fresnel realized that, hey, if I've got a really big thick lens like this, it'll still be the same lens even if I take out a parallel sided strip. And if I can take out one parallel sided strip, then why not take out many parallel sided strips? So, let's take a few more of these parallel sided strips out. And what are we left with? Basically, the same lens, same curved surfaces, so it's going to be the same focal length. And uh, the only problem is, it's now very weak. But what we can do is to move these pieces in until they touch each other. And now instead of separate pieces of glass or a hollow glass lens, we now have a solid lens. And Pretty obviously, it is much thinner, much lighter than the lens before, but it acts exactly the same way. Now, if you want to make a Fresnel lens like this, but have it be even cheaper to make than this one, all we really need to do is to make one side of it flat and only put the grooves in the other side of it. And now, we've got the type of Fresnel lens that's used in an overhead projector. I can take this one step further and move these pieces out some, actually leaving gaps between the individual pieces. And now, these rings with the almost triangular cross section form a lens that you could use in a lighthouse where there's an intense source of heat, because now air can actually flow through the gaps and keep the lens cool. Thank you.